Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel, this is Kobe Shots and today I have with me Miss Winnie. We're going to engage ourselves in a photo shoot. But if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel here on my channel, we do photography and filmmaking based content. So if you're interested in it, please do well to subscribe and turn on the post notification button for future videos because there are a lot more other videos coming your way as well as those ones I already have over here. You can learn a thing or two. So yeah engage with my content so that YouTube propagates my videos as well. So simply we're going to use continuous light for this photo shoot. Nothing whatsoever is going to be um, a flash, no speed lights, no strobes, nothing. It's going to be just continuous light, my SL60W Godox with some practical lights over here. So let us get into the photo shoot. I'll explain quickly what the lights are doing over here in the setup. Then, yeah, you can see the shots in the end. Okay, so guys, this is gonna be a very simple setup, all right? I have practical lights over here and I'm using constant light or continuous light for the most part. And uh, I'm going to engage the background with some warmth because it's going to really work out with the warm tones over there in the scarf as well as what's written in the shirt of what my model is wearing over here. And so um, I have the Godox SL60W being my key light and i have wonderful practical lights over here some are just for you know home decor or room decor but this particular one is special this is accentuating more light for the back to cause more light against her back because these practical lights wouldn't be necessarily enough for the whole thing or for blasting light back here so i needed to introduce this but i noticed that having that as well as a practical light but not omitting it out of the shot is going to do me a lot good and so i decided to include it in the frame so basically that's the setup the camera i'm using is my eos 6d and i have in front of it my 85 mm 1.4 sigma art series lens it's very fast 1.4 you can imagine and um, it's going to give me a lot more Blurriness in the background to isolate my subject from the background. That's the reason why I really love using this lens for portraits. I also have a 50mm 1.8, but yeah, I'm looking at the focal length to compress the background some more. So I'm gonna go with 85 1.4, and uh, my settings are basically gonna stay at 1 over 100 for the shutter speed. I'm gonna stay at f 1.6 or better still f 1.4 and my ISO is going to stay at 100 so that I can get the best possible noiseless photographs. Okay, so let's get started. Oh. 